Have you ever wondered why North America doesn't have mammoths, giant sloths, or saber-toothed cats roaming around anymore? For decades, we've been told two main stories. Story one, humans arrived and hunted everything to extinction. Story two, a massive climate shift wiped them out. But the real story is way more complicated and honestly, a lot more interesting than that. It's not a simple case of who done it. It's more like a perfect storm of disastrous events. Let's rewind to the end of the last ice age about 13,000 years ago. North America was a wild place, full of incredible giants. We had woolly mammoths and their cousins, the mastodons. There were giant ground sloths as tall as giraffes and huge short-faced bears that would make a grizzly look small. And believe it or not, horses and camels actually originated here before they disappeared. So, what happened to this incredible menagerie? The evidence points to a combination of factors all hitting at once. First, the climate was going haywire. The planet was rapidly warming up. Glaciers were melting, and sea levels were rising. This completely changed the landscape. The vast, open grasslands and forests that these large animals depended on started to shrink and fragment. Imagine the grocery store you rely on suddenly changing all its aisles and then half of it just disappearing. That's what these animals faced. Their food sources became unreliable, and their habitats became patchy and disconnected. This put immense stress on their populations. Then you add humans to the mix. Skilled Paleo-Indian hunters, armed with sophisticated tools like Clovis points, were spreading across the continent. Now, it's unlikely they single-handedly hunted every last mammoth to extinction. That would have been a monumental task. But they didn't have to. For animal populations already struggling with a changing world, even a little bit of hunting pressure could be the final nail in the coffin. It's like kicking someone when they're already down. The most vulnerable animals, the ones struggling to find food or a mate, would have been the easiest targets. And there might even be a third, more catastrophic factor. Some scientists point to evidence of a comet or asteroid fragment exploding over North America. Around this time, an event called the Younger Dreyas Impact Hypothesis. This would have caused widespread wildfires and a sudden, sharp return to icy conditions for over a thousand years, further devastating the environment and the animals living in it. So, it wasn't just the hunters, and it wasn't just the climate. It was a complex, multi-layered catastrophe. Climate change weakened the megafauna. Human hunting pushed them closer to the edge, and a possible cosmic impact might have delivered the final blow. It's a sobering reminder of how fragile even the mightiest creatures can be when their world changes too quickly. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy this journey back in time, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of our planet.